So today we're going to continue our discussion on a confidence interval for one population mean, which is calculating an interval that hopefully contains mu, which is our new parameter of interest. So we're still in the chapter of analysis of one quantitative variable, and we're looking at our first form of statistical inference, which remembers taking a sample to make an inference on a population. So we're going to be using sample information to try to create an interval that mu is contained within. So the last time we looked at the actual formula for calculating a confidence interval for mu, and we noticed that it added a T star multiplier. So the T star multiplier is from this T distribution, which is a new distribution for us because we're used to the normal distribution. So with the T distribution, there are some similarities and differences between it and the normal distribution. So we're going to look at those today. So the Z curve, remember, is what we call the normal distribution or the normal curve. And then we have multiple T curves. So the similarities between these curves, the Z curve is symmetric. It's bell-shaped and it's centered at zero, which is also true for any curve that's on the T distribution. Some differences, though, is that there's actually only one Z curve, but there's an infinite number of T curves. And those T curves, the height and the steepness of the curve is dependent on this measurement called degrees of freedom. So degrees of freedom is very easy to calculate. It's going to take um, N and subtract one from it. Remember that N is sample size. So one thing to recognize is the higher the degrees of freedom, so you can see between the blue and the green curve, the less area that will be represented in the tail and the more that it will move to the height of the curve. So for the blue curve, where we only have two degrees of freedom and then moving into 30 degrees of freedom, we're losing area in the tail and we should be gaining it in the height of the curve. So the more degrees of freedom you have or the larger the sample size, the more area that will be contained in the center of the curve or in the height and the less area that will be contained in the actual tails of the distribution. So when you look up a T star multiplier, it will have a different multiplier based on what curve you're talking about. So if you have a sample of size 31, you would have 30 degrees of freedom because we're taking 31 and subtracting one. So that's how we got to that green curves distribution. You would look it up for that specific curve because that's the T curve that you're referring to. And then you would connect it to a different confidence level. So a Z curve and a T curve, they're kind of similar, but the T curve is going to adjust because now we have sample information and we don't have population information. So because we have added estimation of the population with this quantitative data, we have to move to a distribution that accounts for that, which is what the T distribution will do for us.